NA1SS, NA1SS. This is 8 November 23, WSJ. This is scheduled contact over. NA1SS, NA1SS. This is 8 November 23, WSJ. This is scheduled contact over. Your signal is very clear. Five nine is here. Can, uh, are you ready to scout question? Over. I am ready to take questions. Thank you. This is Carlos. I am from Mexico. In the journey from the air to the ISS, when was the most stressful time? Over. Well, the journey has been an amazing one, and uh, it started even when I decided I wanted to become an astronaut. So I worked very hard and was very fortunate to have a lot of support, a lot of great teachers and mentors, and uh, even scoutmasters and fellow scouts. Uh, the most stressful time, I think, was just the flying to the astronaut's office. And uh, the rest has been uh, hard work, but it's been very, uh, very um, exhilarating. Hi, this is Kay. I'm from Japan. How do you taking a bath and shampoo your hair? Over. Taking a bath and shampooing my hair in space is very similar to when uh, I would go camping. Um, you just really use a wet towel to, to bathe, and we have a special no-rinse shampoo that we use to wash our hair. Hi, this is Rahul from Sri Lanka. How do you keep track of the time when you start to work each day in space? And do you have a holiday up there? Over. Well, we start our day at 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we look at the, the work schedule for the day, and I always grab a cup of coffee to start my day off. Um, we do have holidays, but maybe four times, uh, three or four times a, uh, uh, every six months. This is Suzuna. I'm from Japan. Have you been a scout? If yes, what activity do you like the most? Over. I was a scout. I actually made it to Eagle Scout and the, and the U.S. Boy Scout. And uh, I think my favorite activity was going to with my This is Kirk from the United States. How do you feel when you look back at the Earth? Over. Hey, Kirk. I love looking back at the Earth. It always, it's always changing. The colors are vibrant, and it's uh, incredibly beautiful. Um, and it just uh, makes me feel very blessed to live on such an incredible planet. This is Wakana. I'm from Japan. Which planet would you like to visit the most? Over. Well, Earth is definitely my home, and, and uh, I can't wait to, to get back to my family. I'm having a lot of fun up here, um, but I think uh, I would love to, to go. To, I know the moon is not considered a planet, but I would love to go to the moon someday. Hi, I'm Kirsten. I'm from Denmark. How do you get fresh fruit in space? Over. We're very lucky to get fresh fruit on every uh, cargo vehicle that comes up. There's a small allotment of uh, fresh uh, vegetables and fresh fruit for us to eat. This is Koki. I'm from Japan. Have any astronauts go sick in space? If yes, what was the sickness? And what do they do? Over. Well, just about uh, over at least 30%, if not more, of the first time astronauts, the first time people coming to space will get sick. They'll feel nauseated and might even throw up. Um, usually they get over it within a few days and, and don't have to do anything. If they feel really bad, we do have medication for them to take to make them feel better. Hi, I'm Fatim from Bangladesh, and here goes the question. After the mission was over, did you want to go back to space again? Over. Well, we'll have to wait and see, but I sure love my time up here right now, and I'm sure that once I get back to the Earth, I will look forward to coming back here to the space station again someday. This is Hirotaka from Japan. Why did you want to be an astronaut? Over. That's a good question, and I'm not sure that I, I know the answer. I know that uh, I remember watching the Space Shuttle launch in 1981 when I was in second grade, and I've always been interested in space. I think watching uh, movies and reading books has something to do with that, um, and uh, it's something that I've always wanted to do. This is Andrea from Switzerland. Are you doing anything because you do not forget the sons of the day and the week and the date? Over. Uh, we are, the, the space station runs on Greenwich Mean Time, so um, that's how we know what time it is up here. Of course, we see 16 sunrises and sunsets every day. So if you look out the window, it doesn't really tell, tell us what time of the day it is, but we have a schedule with all the activities that we need to do during the day. This is Jiro from Japan. What troubles you to eat the space food with microgravity over? Well, I think the thing that you forget about is how helpful gravity actually is. And so eating food in space, um, it can often get away from you very quickly if you move 
uh, liquids too quickly, it'll break up and send splatters of liquid everywhere. So you just have to be very careful. But it's also a lot of fun. This is Rory from Japan, no, from Ireland. How do you shampoo your hair? Over. Rory from Japan, from Ireland. Um, I have uh, special shampoo. It's called No Rinse Shampoo. We just put it in our hair. We don't have to add water. We don't have to rinse with water. We just uh, scrub it, and then we use a towel to get it out. This is Kaoru. I'm from Japan. Please advise if the scout hams would like to make contact with ISS station. Over. Um, well, I love, uh, it's, it's great talking to you. I'm very, uh, very excited to have uh, this opportunity to, to talk with scouts uh, up here on the space station. Um, I, like I said, I was a scout and uh, it definitely gave me skills um, and uh, motivation uh, to pursue uh, uh, further adventures uh, in my life. And I think uh, it's a big part of why I'm here today. This is Hanna from Hungary. How do you drink the water? Over. Uh, through a straw. Uh, it's just being funny. We have uh, special little drink bags. They look like the free sun bags. Um, we get water from a, a water dispenser on the, on the space station, and then we put a straw in it, and we drink it. And I think we're moving on Anyone else? Yes. This is 8 November 2310 WSJ. Thank you so much for this contact. Over. Anyone else? Yes. This is 8 November 8.